Sneaky Linux back again, back in today with Makulu Linux E17, yes. Makulu Linux with Enlightenment for the desktop environment, which you know as I like very much. So he does GNOME, he does KDE, he does XFCE, I thought we'll give the E17 version a go. Plus I haven't spoke to him for a good few months now, a good, good few months, so I don't know what's going down in his world. I must try and catch up with everybody this weekend or next weekend. So it's going to be a late night, Friday night, I think, yes. Anyway, let's get down and dirty. Based on Debian, Cedar Stroke Jesse, well, apparently, so I'm told. So it should be super stable, super duper, whooper duper. Right down here we have my get out of jail clause, which is go away, reboot, turn off, stuff like that. My battery charge monitor, well, I haven't got one because of the desktop. Okay, my little light bulb for ideas, time and date, sound menu. I'm using record my desktop at the moment for the simple reason, although Voco screen is installed, the audio cuts out after two minutes, so that's no good to me. I remember recording my desktop doing that millions and millions of years ago, but hey. Internet, and I need to do some updates as well. I just haven't got around to do them. I've updated Synaptic, but nothing else at the moment, okay? It's fully installed to a dual-core 2 gig machine with four, or was it three and a half, four gig of RAM. So it's nicey, nicey, a super duper one. Not in virtual box. Okay, down here we have Thunar for my file manager. We'll open up. Hello, Mr. Thunar. How are you? Well, I'm very well, thank you. We have Conkey Desktop Documents, Downloads, Music, Pictures, Public Templates, Videos, Install it, do list, and play on Linux virtual drives. Now, play on Linux comes pre-installed, and it is the 4.2.1 version, so you should be able to play the most recent games, including World of Tanks, War Thunder, World of Warplanes, if you can be bothered, World of Warcraft, bloody 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 blah, and all the others that you really want to play. Okay, so that's super. Okay, next on the line we have Chromium for our web browser. Okay. So I'll open a Chromium up and we'll have a quick look in the book. I've also actually installed a Firefox, basically because I prefer it personally. And it just, in my opinion, just works better. But hey, I don't make it. Don't shoot me. Go and talk to Jack from South Africa, because it's from South Africa, by the way. And he's got his favourite apps things here, like blah, 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 Facebook, Gmail, Google, himself, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. If you like it, use it. If you don't, you can just do whatever you like. Okay, so that's that done out of the way. By the way, Flash is installed by default, so that's super too. We have a terminal here, we have our task manager. Now I'm going to open up our task manager and you'll see how much we're using here. Now when using Voco screen, you're maxing out this CPU with both cores, okay? When using Record My Desktop, although it's not everybody's cup of tea, it doesn't use half as much CPU, but remember it does encode after you've finished the video. So that may suit some people. Okie dokie, super. We'll quit that, see you later. Right, next there we have their software manager, which is the Debian software manager. Now, because I've not updated the updates that it wants to do, no, it's going to be in there, but once I do, it will do. What you will notice is it wants to change some of the grub files. Now, you have to be careful what you tick here, either keep or replace. I think the best one to go with is to replace, otherwise it ain't going to boot again and grub again, bang, okay? And next along there is update repositories, and that's all we have on our bar. Now, if I right-click the desktop, like so, we have favorite applications. Now these are not my favorite applications, these are Jack's, okay? So we have Bleachbit, Chromium, as we've just seen, the Device Driver Manager, Chunderbird, Bridging, Play on Linux, the Software Manager, Steam by default, bearing in mind that you're gonna have to have a decent graphics card to run some decent Steam games, but as they're quite reasonably cheap now, you can pick up a reasonably mid-range card for between 30 and 60 pounds sterling. So that'll be up to 80, 90 quid euros or whatever currency you use, okay? Also we have Synaptic, which I've used to install some stuff, including the Pulse Audio Volume Control, because I needed that for my USB microphone. We've also got the Task Manager, the Terminal, the Tickler Feed Reader, but that runs at the top. I should get rid of it. When you first boot the system, it runs along the top of the screen, and it was getting on my nerves, so I just got rid of it, basically, because that's the sort of guy I am. Yeah, okay. Let's go through my stuff. Under applications, under accessories, we get an alarm clock, Konkai, Leafpad root terminal, terminal emulator, a USB image writer, a USB stick formatter, and X archiver. Okay. Under games, well, if you like the old school games, you can download as many as you like. But as you've got Play Linux and Steam, the world is your oyster. Yeah, baby. Under graphics, we have Gimpage by default, Image Magic, and Pinter. Yeah, Pinter. Yeah, we thought that. Under Internet, Chromium, as we've seen before, Dropbox by default, Firefox, which I've installed myself, FlareGet, Chunda, as I've said before, Mumble, NitroShare, Pigeon, and Tickler. So we'll open up the Fox, 
just to have a look. Okay, well, we'll check out another page. I have a bit of a drinkage here. Hmm. No, it's not currently my default browser because Chromium is at the moment. So we made it nice and big. We don't have to go to dictionary.com, we'll just go to Google for now. We're just going to stop in the Bibica. And we're going straight there and check out the page. Okay, I'm not going to check out the flash because I know it works. I've already tried it. Okay, but as you can see, the page has come up very, very nice. Super, other duper. Yes, you can play your flash games and all that as well, so don't worry about that. So that's great. Super. Really that. Okay, what else we got down in the menu? Okay, under sound and video, you get audacious by default. Now, I was hoping. It would be something different, but no, all days is there. It does what it says in the tin, not my cup of tea. If you don't like it, get rid of it and get your own, okay? Double left multi converter for converting all different audio and video formats to whatever you want. Mini tube, pulse vo audio volume control, as I've said before. Record my desktop, that's what I'm using now. VLC media player does most of the stuff that you want it to do, and Voco screen, we'll have to get that checked out, okay? Right, under Office, now here's something different for you. We get Adobe Reader 9. Why would one that? I don't know. Okay, but hey, who am I? An ebook reader. Now, instead of going for LibreOffice or OpenOffice or Abbey Word and Numeric, he's gone for Kingsoft. Now, as far as I'm aware, that's not actually open source y free, is he? So, if we go to Kingsoft Writer and just click there and see what comes up. There we go, WPS, loading the GUI, nice big page. Close that. Do I want to patch it? No, not yet. Okay. Can you give it that? Okay. Open new blank file, whatever that is. And basically, this is all you need to do to use your stuff. Now, I was reading somewhere online, I don't know where it was, that some people were having trouble with the latest version of LibreOffice opening proprietary Microsoft formats. And it might have been Jack's actually recommended Kingsoft. Although OpenOffice will do it, but then again, that's sort of semi proprietary, isn't it? Half a dozen of one and 13 of the other, isn't it? Really, when you think about it. It looks alright, I might give it a go a bit later, but hey, yeah, so something a little bit different in there, isn't it? Yes, bye. Anyway, where was we? Under applications again. Under Sundry, we get Adobe Flash Player by default, your network connections, printer settings, that should all come hunky dory for you. System tools, bleach bit as we said before. Report a bug to Debian. One configuration, yeah, well, that should all be that hunky dory for you when you're using the Play on X uh, super duper. Okay, we're going to add to utilities, we get a calculator and a terminal. And that's basically it. Oh, if you go to administration up here, by the way, you get a backup tool as well. G part is here. As you can see, I tried to install the NVIDIA set it, the NVIDIA driver, but it just wouldn't work. But that hasn't gone away, so I need to purge that really, don't I? When you think about it, under preferences. As we just said, really, and you get screensaver and stuff like that. By the way, the screensaver comes in at around about four or five minutes, so you might want to change that. Okay, okay. You can navigate from here. Remember, it's E17 Enlightenment, so I go straight there, 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 there. Okay. You can run anything or everything, which just basically comes up like Synapse, basically. Take a screenshot, screenshot, screenshot even. Your desktop. You can put gadgets on your desktop if you want to. Under your windows, you can clean up your windows. Under Enlightenment, I'll tell you all about it. Now, under Settings, you can change lots of things under it, okay? I won't go into it now, but some other people already have, I might do in the future. All depends. And under System, Lock, Log Out, Suspend, Hibernate, Reboot, Power Off. Now, on the whole, I've not had a bad time of it. A little niggle with the NVIDIA driver, but I'll work on that one, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you want a Debian based distro, you don't want to go the Ubuntu route, you want to go Debian, especially all the kerfuffle that's going on at the moment about the licensing agreements and stuff like that, which is getting right on my nerves, which will have to be really, really sorted really, really soon because everybody's up in their arms. And... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You're on the whole, Makulu E17, rather nice. I'm going to give it 89%. It's nicey, nicey. So you would do a sneaky Linux gang out. I see you later. Bye bye.